So the, the Sidewinder driver is mostly success, but um, since I use this Impout 322 um, access hardware, it's kind of a kernel mode tunnel and um, kind of dangerous software. Um, it was potentially not really as fast as I'd like it to be, and it pretty much has to run flat out without any kind of timing control to get the information from the joystick. Going down here and typing in um, joy.cpl brings up a control panel describing the status of joysticks. It has the VJoy um, joystick, which you also have to install for this to work. It's a virtual joystick fed by software. Um, my software here is a very simple program. Right now it's not outputting um, any text or anything. So it just looks like a, uh, a black uh, square. I can minimize it. And over here, properties, we now see um, the joystick. Here's these buttons. I can hit these buttons here. Three different buttons on the joystick. Um, this is um, the thrust uh, lever here. When you, this is the uh, moving the joystick around. You can move these around. That's the fire button. And the buttons on top. and rotating the joystick. So this is the earlier version of the Microsoft Precision Pro Sidewinder joystick that um, is exclusively a uh, game port, has no USB support. And this setup of mine only involves a sound card and the joystick, no other hardware. So I won't go into how the game board works, it's extremely straightforward, but here's an example of the raw data I got back once the uh, joystick was in digital mode. And um, what happens is uh, basically there's a bit five, and the bit five goes between a zero and a one, and when it comes in one from a zero, um, those are the bytes that you want to sample. And also here I circled the zeros so that's confused what was a zero and a one and how they were used. Turns out that all the data is uh, considered a one when it's a zero by the driver. Also, the, um, the data is always on uh, bit uh, six, and all the other bits, uh, there's only two, really two bits that are used uh, in this, it's almost serial, um, are bits five and six. Five is the, t the, uh, the edge bit, and six is the data bit. So here we have um, some dumps um, of the, um, the extracted uh, significant bytes with uh, two copies of two uh, normal and also trigger press. And you can see that uh, one of the binary uh, quantities is reversed in the case of the trigger. It's actually bit um, six of the first byte. So I'll be putting up this, um, this sort of driver on my um, website in a few days. Um, I have to um, alter the source bit so that um, in a text file, you can alter the port address. Every computer is gonna have its own uh, port address which is the, the, the port address plus one, the, the base of the game port plus one. 